The P0171 code stands for System 2 Lean Bank 1. A lean condition means that there's too much air entering the engine compared to the amount of fuel. The perfect air fuel ratio should be 14.7 parts of air to one part of fuel. If the air fuel ratio is incorrect, then your car is going to experience some issues. Typically, bank 1 is the side where cylinder 1 is located. If you're having trouble finding it, you can refer to a repair manual that I'll link in the description below. Now sometimes, it can get tricky to diagnose the exact issue when dealing with the P0171 code. However, this is when an OBD2 scanner can come in handy. Check to see if you're getting any other codes besides the P0171. If you do, then that's your starting point. However, if you're only getting a P0171, it could be a little more tricky. But let's go ahead and break down the potential causes. The first and most common cause in my experience for the P0171 is a vacuum leak. A vacuum leak is when air enters the engine that is not sensed by the MAF or the MAP sensor. So here's the mass airflow sensor. If anything after it is torn or cracked, this will let unmetered air in. Also, make sure that everything's secured tightly as it can cause a similar issue. Also, a vacuum leak can occur if your car either has a torn intake manifold gasket or a cracked intake manifold. Another thing to look into is vacuum hoses. If any of them are torn, this will throw a coat as well. A vacuum leak can also be caused by a stuck open PCV valve or a stuck open EGR valve. The next thing to consider is a leaking purge valve. Lastly, a ruptured diaphragm inside the brake booster or any torn brake booster hoses will cause a vacuum leak as well. The second cause could be a bad mass airflow sensor. The MAF sensor measures how much air goes into the engine. It helps the engine control module decide how much fuel to add for proper combustion. If the MAF sensor is faulty, it can provide wrong air readings and trigger the P0171 code. Also, sometimes the sensor can just be dirty. Before replacing it, try spraying it with a MAF sensor cleaner and see if it will solve the issue. The third cause could be fuel issues. If there are fuel delivery issues in the system, it can cause your car to run lean because there will be less fuel and more air. And as mentioned earlier, an incorrect air fuel ratio will make your car act up. Some components that can cause this issue within the fuel system include a faulty fuel pump, a dirty fuel filter, faulty fuel injectors, a faulty fuel rail pressure sensor, or a restriction in the fuel line. If you suspect any of these issues, you can just perform a fuel pressure test. I'll leave a fuel pressure gauge that you can use in the description below. Now keep in mind that the next three causes that I'll talk about are more rare in my experience when it comes to the P0171 code. However, it's still important to talk about them. So the fourth cause of the P0171 code is an exhaust leak. To be more specific, an exhaust leak before the upstream oxygen sensor. This can allow outside air to enter the exhaust and trick the oxygen sensor into believing that there's more air than there actually is. This can trigger the P0171 code. Common locations for exhaust leaks include cracks in the exhaust manifold, exhaust manifold gasket, or the exhaust pipe leading to the upstream oxygen sensor. The next cause is a faulty oxygen sensor. If the O2 sensor is malfunctioning, it can provide inaccurate readings indicating that there's too much oxygen in the exhaust system causing a lean condition. This incorrect data leads to the ECM to adjust the air fuel ratio inaccurately. Now it's important to note that this sensor is going to be located on bank 1. The last cause for the P0171 is a bad engine control module. This won't happen often, but it's still a possibility to consider. I appreciate you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.